So for our project, what we noticed outside was that when FOM workers salt stairs, it's really inconvenient. They have to hold a bucket like this and spread salt by hand. So what we decided to do was to automate this process. And so we created a salt blaster here, which is basically a, we have a power system, which is a leaf blower, and then a hopper, which drops salt into the airflow and blasts it out. So now we have a much better distribution and the FONM workers don't have to hurt their wrists going out and sp trying to spread salt manually. And this can also hold a lot more salt than just a pail. It can hold 19 kilograms instead of 8 for the pail and that means you have to make a lot fewer trips to refill. Hi, my name is Julieta Feltrin, I'm a 17 at Dartmouth and we made the Tot Stop. So basically it's an automated ski system that, makes, that helps children stop uh, while they're skiing if they're going out of control. So basically Basically, um, it involves a it involves a spring and a solenoid being pushed down. And when somebody, a parent or somebody that's skiing with a child, sees that their kid is going out of control, they press a button, which makes the brakes go down, dig into the snow, and stop their child. I'm Dylan Kavuchin. I'm in Engines 21. This is my group member Matt Wilson here and we were working to help remedy some issues that the U.S. Postal Service is having. Um, one of the issues they face is that they have to wear crampons in icy regions when they're delivering the mail, like a town like Hanover. We contacted them and they said one of the biggest problems is that they can't drive with the crampons on and they also can't walk on people's porches with them on. Basically we're trying to create retractable crampons and we came up with this, uh, Matt came up with this locking mechanism that is similar actually to a train track where you can pull tension on this bar and it'll pull the tracks forward and then there's a simple release mechanism. Ideally, it'll just be something you can bump with your foot and they'll go back and that's gonna allow a hands-free way for them to release the spikes when they go up to the porch.